had a nightmare. Welcome to the vlog and welcome to Philadelphia. Editing Eve here. I feel like I should just stop myself in my tracks right there and tell you this is a weird vlog because we had a bad first day so we didn't really vlog anything and then the next day it rained all day and then my phone died anyway so I couldn't really film much but we had a good time and I hope you enjoy what we did get. So I'm being honest, we got here yesterday and I didn't vlog because we had the worst day ever. Um, we left New York at like 6am and arrived in Philadelphia about 9. We went to our rental car and they said, sure you can pick it up early because we weren't supposed to get it until 1. And then they had an issue with our card because it's a debit, even though it's accepted as credit here. We don't know why, but it just is. And we ended up getting the car on like a bit of a loophole, I guess. So at least we have that now, that's positive. Um, we found our Airbnb and we were exhausted because the night before last we'd been to the theatre, we had a late night and then we got up really early, so. Basically, we went to Subway, we went for a drink and then we went to bed. <laughs> This morning we've got a pretty jam-packed day, so we've got up early and gone out. We went to check on the car on the way out because we're walking everywhere today and it turns out that we got um, a parking ticket. So we had to pay $76 for parking in front of a fire hydrant even though we didn't park in front of a fire hydrant, so we're really mad about it. And I'm really just convinced that the guy that lives at the house we parked by called them. It might not have been, but I'm convinced that it was him because he was looking at us. I'm not explaining this well at all. He had a guest there and they had like a massive car and it was in front of the fire hydrant. Like when they drove off, we drove in. We had a smaller car, obviously, and we weren't in front of the fire hydrant. And I think he was just mad that we parked like in front of his house even though it's got free parking. So. And whenever we found a parking lot, it was just one where they put your car when it's been towed, so we couldn't park there. So eventually we found one. This is for future Neve, you're parked in the parking lot opposite Subway. We're going to the Rocky Steps, we're going to East State Penitentiary, and what else are we doing? We're doing the Liberty Bell, and then we're going to Max Tavern tonight, which is run by two people from So I to Leave Philadelphia. So to summarise, we're kind of mad in Philadelphia, but this is our main day here, so we're just gonna let go and have a nice time. I just think it's ironic that it's called the city of brotherly love, and everyone's been in the you think? I want to prepare you for what you're about to see. I'm about to run up the Rocky Steps and we decided it'd be really good to make our own Rocky soundtrack rather than actually just use the one that already exists. And I was ill, you can really hear that in my voice and also I kind of don't know it. So without further ado. <laughs> this because I was listening to the audio tour at the time 
but um, Hero is showing you how they built the prison outwards like this so that a guard could stand in the middle and spin around and be able to see all of the corridors and all of the rooms at once. Eastern State is like the founding prison for the US and I'm obsessed with Orange is the New Black and I've noticed since being here that they have the plans for Eastern State on the wall in the office. $12 for students, so we're really happy with it. Now, if you can hear the rabble, we're at the Liberty Bell, and it's a Monday midday, so we thought it'd be quiet, but it's full of school kids. But what is it? I'm sorry for the state of me. We've just been to Max Tavern, we had a spider each. It was cool, it had little references in it, but like subtle, and then it was cool because they had um, pictures of all the cast on the wall, like celebrating in there and stuff, it's, it's, I've said it, I've said it three times, but it's cool. <laughs> Where else have we been? We went to, whose house was it? Uh, Betsy Ross. We've been to Betsy Ross's house, who's the woman who designed the first American flag. We went to the oldest continuously lived in street in the US. And it was really cute. I don't remember what it's called, it begins with an A. raining like mad like it's fine now but it was crazy so my jacket isn't waterproof anymore so I need to go buy a new one um, and we've kind of just dodged in and out of everywhere and we also went to a comic book store but now we're running for a new book so bye We got home and we showered to warm up and then we've spent a couple of hours in bed because it's pretty cold um, and now we're on our way to Target. What do we need? We need food and I need a new Mac if I can get one because mine's not waterproof anymore. Huh? Are they call them Macs in America? Do they call them Macs? Raincoat. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Delaware, which means our time in Pennsylvania is over. 
so we've left Philadelphia, we're on our way to Washington DC, we're about two hours away on the I-95 South, and um, he's laughing at me. Th thanks for watching, like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed, um, follow my Instagram, okay. D-R-W-W-S-M-T-H. <laughs> Uh, knees descriptions will be in the doobly doo. <laughs> Have a good one. See you in Washington. Bye. Peace, Thomas.